Hey guys, so I built a tiny miniature greenhouse as you can see by the title, the thumbnail. Finally did it, I finally finished it. It took a couple of days, mainly because I was not bothered to go get more of the sticks that I needed because I ran out. The only reason I pushed myself to finish this video today is because I did my makeup extra today. Not even intentionally, I just sort of started doing it and, you know, went slightly overboard, like fucking six rhinestones on my face. So I needed to document it and therefore I needed to finish the video today and I needed to finish the greenhouse today. There are a couple of things that I am going to add and slightly change in the future and add to the greenhouse, but more on that later. Overall, it is done and I want to talk about it tell you how I made it, maybe inspire you to make one, and yeah, just show off my tiny miniature greenhouse with LED lights and all. What prompted me to make this miniature greenhouse? It's not like I really need it. I don't really have any plants that would specifically need this tiny greenhouse. I saw uh, an image on Instagram of, well, I'll show you the image that I saw on Instagram because I saved it for the future because I knew I was gonna make something like it. And I did some Googling around to see like, other inspirations about it and I realized that this particular one that I saw was actually a sort of dollhouse kit type of thing where you purchase everything and you get all the parts and you have to put it all together and stuff like that which is kind of cool but I didn't want to do that and also it costs a lot of money. I don't remember now off the top of my head but I thought I can make that myself. I don't need them to send me all the parts. I can do something like it and also this the kit comes with tiny paper plants and accessories which are really cute and I love that but for my purposes I was going to put real plants in there anyway so I just used it as sort of inspiration to launch this project. I also knew that I could do it so much cheaper than buying that kit so that's what I did. I made it myself. I filmed some bits of me putting stuff together, cutting stuff out, gluing stuff together but I didn't actually film me talking and you know to the camera and stuff while I was doing that because I knew it would take way too long if I did that but I still want to document it a tiny bit so first of all when I started this greenhouse this is not the image I had in my mind if you remember the image that I was inspired by it has black trimmings so originally while I had bought some of the wooden dowels those were not going to be the elements as they are now, I was going to use black duct tape to do that. I started doing it and I started cutting all the tiny pieces of black duct tape and started gluing them and putting it together and then I realized First of all, I hated how it looked, it was taking too long, it was just not it. It was not what I imagined in my mind. So after all that, um, I just, just ripped all the black duct tape off and decided that, you know what, the wooden dowels will look so much better. And I'm very much glad I did that. The glass that is what the greenhouse is made of is actually just plastic sheets. What I did is I got two large picture frames. I should have actually just got one, I miscalculated. And the picture frames, they don't have glass, they have like, sheets, which is also something that I used for the terrarium that I have my begonias in. I was not about to go and try to cut glass or anything of that sort. I absolutely from the beginning knew that it was going to be plastic. So that's what that is. I'm sure you can just buy plastic sheets somewhere but that is not available to me at the moment. It would be too complicated and I knew I could get just these picture frames with these uh, plastic sheets. So that's what I did. The base of the greenhouse and what I initially based my measurements off of is the bottom of a Ferrero Rocher box and it is nice and flat. It is about 21 and a half centimeters by 21 and a half centimeters. So I thought that was a pretty good measurement. I used that plastic box as a watering tray. So I put plants and just water them. So I thought it would be a good idea to just, you know, make it into a tiny greenhouse. So based off of those measurements, I did some sketching and did some figuring out of how big I want the other dimensions to be. So these are my first sketches. I decided that I want up to here to be 15 centimeters and then up to here I want it to be a maximum of 8 centimeters. Those are the measurements that I did. Then I drew it and cut it out to scale to see if I actually like those measurements in real life and what it would 
kind of look like. I was happy with this, so I traced it and cut it out of the plastic. If you want to recreate exactly what I did, I will probably have the measurements of things either here or in the description somewhere. I will have the measurements if you want to create or more or less the same measurements that I did. Anyway, when I cut out the plastic, then all that was left was to glue it all together. I used hot glue, which I wasn't intending to do at the very first, at least not for everything, but I didn't have super glue. Again, I didn't want to go buy a super glue again. <laughs> I, I had already gone out and bought a bunch of things for this, even though it wasn't like expensive or anything like that, I would just not bother to leave my house again. And we are in a pandemic, so... <laughs> anyway, I ended up using hot glue, which in some places it's a little obvious that there's hot glue there, but overall, if you're not inspecting it too much, you can absolutely get away with hot glue. If you're slightly more careful than I am with it, then you can 100% do this with just hot glue. But if I could go back and actually redo this project, which I kind of don't want to do anytime soon, I would use something like super glue just because I think it would look neater. Cutting the wooden dowels to their needed sizes was quite annoying. I was using a cardboard cutter which was fairly easy. It was just that the cardboard cutter that I have, it has these ridges which were making my hands hurt so it got a little bit annoying after a while. I'm sure there is also a better way to cut them to the size that you need. That's what I did. And then I just super glued them to the places that it needed to be. I also made cutouts for the door, so this door actually opens. Not too much, but it opens. And actually in the back is a window, which I will in the future have partially opened on the top, but currently it's just a hole because, again, I this was taking a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of energy. And that is one of the things that I will do in the future to make this greenhouse even better. Another feature of this greenhouse is that the roof is removable. So that means I can easily get plants in and out, I can water them, stuff like that, so that I don't have to worry about, you know, going through that tiny door. <laughs> the wooden dowels that I used are actually for the ones that you would use for cotton candy. I found them in my local supermarket, specifically the shelves where things for baking are. So I also saw some sticks that were meant for, for example, cakes and things like that, but those were round and you could totally use round ones as well. There's nothing wrong with that, but I saw that they had the actual square ones. So that's what I used and I think it looks pretty good. It fits with, you know, what this is for. The lights inside are just LEDs. It's a meter long strip that I cut just a little bit off at the end because I didn't need that much. And it is on a battery pack of four AAA batteries. I knew that I wanted something wireless, as in something that does not have to plug into the wall. I have way too many things that are plugged in and need to be plugged in for my plants. I knew that I wanted to have this easily be moved around to places where there might not be a plug and I did not want to worry about a plug for this greenhouse but I still wanted to have lights so I got these LED strips which I put just around the top trim of the greenhouse and I think it looks really nice. It did take me a little while to figure out where exactly to place the LEDs because since the roof comes off I couldn't place them on the roof which I originally would have wanted or if they were on the roof the strip wouldn't be as long because it just wouldn't curve nicely. It, it just wouldn't look that great. So that is what I did and that's basically it. It's just a matter of assembly and honestly the patience of cutting things out, burning yourself with hot glue. It's by no means a hard project and it also depends on the tools you have, how hard you make it for yourself because I'm sure that I could have made things easier for myself. I could have also made things harder for myself by putting even more details and things like that. But overall, I am super happy with how it turned out. As I mentioned at the very start, there are a couple of things that I would change though and that I am going to sort of improve upon as time goes by and as I just take this as more of a casual project and not a part of the main project. So first of all, I mentioned the back window that I wanted to have it partially open at the back. 
which I'm going to do. Another thing is I'm going to add some more trims, specifically around where this tray meets the plastic walls. While it isn't too obnoxious and in your face, unless you really go inspect it, you wouldn't notice it. However, it does bother me a little bit and I think it would benefit from having just another wooden trim around here or even this whole area covered up with wood something like that so that this area where they meet isn't too visible. I also bought for this build some popsicle sticks that I didn't end up using, but in the future I will make tiny tiny steps coming from the greenhouse. It's just probably going to be like one little step or a tiny tiny porch, something like that. I think it will look very cute. As well, I think I'm going to make some platforms slash tiny shelves to put the plants on so that they can sit slightly higher you can see them better at the back for example essentially making tiny furniture for this greenhouse another thing that i might do i'm still not sure is put in a floor and by put in a floor i just mean something underneath the bottom tray that makes it appear that either there is wood or stone or something like that so that it looks like it has a floor so that the bottom doesn't look like it's glass. I mean, it's still going to look like it's glass, but just to have a sort of floor. Besides that, that's it. That's my miniature greenhouse. I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy it's done. I think it looks so, so, so cute in my shelf. I turned on, I put it in and I turned on the lights and I was just so happy with how it turned out. I hope this maybe inspires you to make something like it or you just enjoyed me talking about it. Thank you for watching my video. Comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. That's it, that's the video.